Hey guys, so today I'm going to be looking at things men wish women understood. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. There is a point in every man's life when they have their feelings hurt. Look for help, realize that nobody cares, suck it all up, and become remarkably stoic. Oh, that's so sad. Hmm, it is sad how society just tells men to toughen up and get over it. Yeah, that's really sad. Sometimes we are silent because it's relaxing. There isn't always something wrong. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I like it when people are silent, man. Because I'm just silent too, so I like being silent together. <laughs> Sometimes it's just so tiring trying to match someone's energy, you know, because you don't want them to feel bad. Sometimes we just really love silence. Our urge to try to fix the problems of those we care about. If you are venting about something that happened or someone stressed you out, our brains go into fix-it mode. Often my wife has to pre-warn that she doesn't want solutions, but just an ear to vent to. Yeah, for women, we just want to vent to someone. Like, we know how to fix the problem ourselves, we just don't want to fix it yet. We just want to rant a bit first. Yeah. I want to be taken on dates and splurged on too. I don't think any of my past girlfriends have ever taken me on a date. Everything is me catering to someone else. <gasps> Girls... And guys, take your men on dates too. Take your male partners on dates too, all right? Splurge on them too, okay? <laughs> Man, that's so sad. Buy them flowers too, all right? It doesn't matter if you think men won't like flowers, just buy them flowers and whatever they do with the flowers is up to them. When I express my feelings and you get upset, resolution is often found through making you feel better, neglecting my initial feelings. This results in a cycle of me not sharing how I feel for fear of your emotional hijacking the conversation. Oh, man, that's pretty true though. I see this happen a lot. Like I see her doing something wrong, you know, she says something really mean to her partner and then her partner gets offended and tells her that he didn't like how she talked to him and then she gets upset at him and then now he has to comfort her. Woo! Relationships are tiring, no thank you. No matter how obvious you think your subtle hints are at things, they're not to us. Just tell us what you want and how you feel. I can do a lot more with a direct conversation than some ambiguous aloof comment that I now have to interpret. <laughs> That's so true. But I think now, a lot of women have been taking the initiative and just going for it. And I think that's amazing. We need to feel needed too. Aww. Why don't they feel needed? I thought they would feel needed if, you know, their partners are always texting them and want their attention. <laughs> Men. I guess it does kind of make sense that women don't understand men because we are just different. We just think differently too. Like, there's like no big thing behind it. It's just how we are. I really am just stupid. Don't ever think it. <laughs> I guess I can say that's true. Yes, men do be stupid. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, but seriously, yeah, sometimes women, we do overthink some things that men don't even remember what they said, like, 15 minutes ago, but we're still thinking about it. That telling something exactly what you want is the best way to get that thing. That goes for men too. Yeah, I think this is the best thing right now. If you want someone, tell them. If you want something, tell them. If they're not doing something that you want, tell them. Communicate. Men understand they don't understand women. Women, on the other hand, do not understand they do not understand men. Oh, so they're saying we think we understand men. That's true, hey. I do see on a lot of posts where women just be thinking they understand every single guy on the planet and that guys only want one thing. <laughs> That's pretty sad. I guess we really don't understand men. Yeah, we don't. Some of us have internalized, not intentionally, but by upbringing, a traditional and simplistic view of manhood. A man has two emotions, happy and angry. Anything else is weakness. A man has two purposes, to provide for and to protect his family. If he fails at either, he is weak. A weak man is worthless. We will continue to struggle to change these old narratives, but please understand that if we cry or get laid off from our job and our partner criticizes us, then the wound will be very deep. Right, if someone loses their job or they're going through a hard time, just be there for them and just tell them that everything will be okay. You don't have to tell them that they're dumb or stupid. 
that's just not it. As a father, being with your baby in public and not having a place to change their diapers. Same when you have toddlers that already go to the toilet. And because you have little girls, you can't just bring them to the bathroom. Family bathrooms where it's just one room with diaper station, toilet and sink separate from the other bathrooms exist, but they aren't enough. You're a parent and you want to take care of your own children in every way. Going into the women's bathroom with your baby or taking your little girl into the men's bathroom or asking a strange woman to take your little girl into the women's bathroom with her all aren't good. I think it's okay if men go into the women's bathroom with their baby or take the kid to the men's but it's not ideal and it would be so much better to have a family bathroom everywhere. Wow, true, true. So go into the family bathroom and you need to change your kid's diapers kind of thing. Yeah, man, I feel bad. It's just like how when a guy is taking care of a little kid and they're out at the park or something, and I remember reading someone asking if the kid was okay, like, in case that it wasn't their dad. Man, men do have it tough sometimes. I'm starting to become a chef in my spare time. I can cook just about anything. I just got through the whole Christmas dinner for the family this year, but when I bring something amazing to a potluck, the first thing I hear is, tell your wife that this was good. I need the recipe. It's like a man can't cook anything unless it's done on a grill. <laughs> on a grill. Wow. But hey, it's evolving though, isn't it? I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of people know that most amazing chefs are men. Like, we all know that. So I don't understand why some people still think that men don't cook. Like, a lot of the expensive restaurants that you go to, it's a guy cooking for you. Like, why are people still thinking like that? The lack of emotional support that exists for adult men in society is rough. Society forces us to become disconnected from our emotions to survive. This isn't always a choice. Oh. Society sucks. <laughs> Being a proper father to my daughter, get looked down on by mothers at school for taking my daughter to school, alone with my daughter, taking her to the park, always get looked at as some sicko by mothers, too much trouble for her mother to do anything for her, she now an ex-wife and no longer in contact with my daughter, daughter now grown up and living with me. <sighs> Why do some people still think like that? Like, what? The dad can't take care of the kid? I think they just might be a bit jealous too, honestly. Like their husbands aren't the one looking care of the kids and they might be a bit jealous, that's why. That other men are dangerous to us as well. That's true, you know. Some men and their egos, they would just pick a fight with other men. You know, they just want to fight each other. Some people are just crazy. So don't mess with the crazy guys, okay. Like just walk away. You don't have to, you know, egg them on. You don't have to be like, okay, let's go at it. No, just just chill. Just walk away. Most of us will only get unconditional love from our mothers. Oh. Wow. The dads will always be tough on them. That's true. That's crazy. Never thought about it that way. And the dads will always be like loving to the daughters because, you know, daddy's little girl kind of thing. Well... Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.